Okay, the uh, light bulb change. This is for the dipped beam on a Mercedes CLC. This is a 180 model in petrol, but it's a 2008. And all models will be very similar. And it's a H7 bulb for this one. I've just gone for a standard Lucas. Nothing too crazy. Right, the bonnet pole is underneath here. There we are in nice orange. So that's the bonnet pole there for right-hand drive cars. So the dipped beam is this lens here. This is your main beam and that is your dipped. Uh, there is a line across this lens, which is normal. That's part of the design. But if we look at our near side, there we go, you can see this one isn't working. So it's this one with the lens. And that is a slightly easier one to get to, especially on this side, because there's our cap. There's the black cap here. Uh, the other one is actually behind the water bottle filling spout. That's for your main beam. Uh, just out of interest on the other side, fairly similar access. You've got some pipes just to be careful of. But yeah, you can get uh, both of those fairly easily. Just might have to move this bonnet opening cable out of the way a little bit if you need to. But anyway, let's get on to taking the cap off. All right, there we go. So again, it's this one here with the lens. So all we're going to do is just twist that off counterclockwise, anti-clockwise. So that's just a bayonet type fitting. Make sure you don't lose that down the engine bay. And then here is our lovely bulb assembly. So it's a standard affair and the easiest way to start is to take off the connection. That just pulls off. So there's our electrical connection. Tuck that down out of the way doesn't get caught and then here's our normal metal bracket stay and for that I'm pushing in pushing towards the light and then I'm actually pushing that down towards the wheel and then that will actually unclip so it's a bit of a tricky beast but there's our closure there's our claws if you like the actual jaws and that metal just hooks into there and then once you've done that, just be careful because the bulb will be loose. And there is our bulb. Just lost all the, something, all the filament or something, but can we see if that's broken? Yes, I think that is. Yeah, that's well and truly blown. Um, you can just about see the springy filament there stops about halfway up. So, uh, dead ski. Right, um, now, this is interesting. If you're doing the bulb here and uh, the piece of metal falls out which looks like that <laughs> which is a bit of a gotcha then you can access that what happens is it normally just drops straight down there past all the water bottle and it's very difficult to get um, you might be able to get a magnet but I think this is kind of an aluminium -y or very difficult thing to grab with a magnet but you can get access removing these two bolts here from under here and you've got a little flap which opens up and this flap allows you to change the fog light by the way but once you've got that open you'll be able to reach into there and you can see the bottom of the water bottle and then I was able to retrieve this pesky small clip <laughs> but uh, yeah let's get that back in place so just to show you how that goes without the bulb in that's how that sits so you've got the indent bits they press in to keep the bulb in place and then you've got this little hook up here and all that happens with that is it just slides underneath those jaws so there's not really much to it it can just be a little bit tricky uh, undoing that while you're hanging upside down but uh, yeah that's how that goes so I can see I've got my cloth under here now to save anything falling out lever that open and let's get the bulb in and as always don't touch the glass with your fingers because if you get any oil or grease on there it can shorten the life of the bulb right and when you're placing the bulb back into the holder this little tab here that tab those go into those two jaws there I'll just show you those two jaws so that tab sits in between those two jaws there so if I put that in 
and then you can see that tab has gone in between those two jaws one and two so it sits in there nice and secure and it means that the bulb can't spin around now our lovely metal close that up uh, it's just a question of pushing down and then up this way towards yourself and that will clip inside those jaws there so you'll find your bulb is nice and secure hinges are both in at the bottom and you've got these jaws in at the top and those indents are pressing against the bulb nicely as well to keep it in so now it's just a case of plugging the wire back on so there we go we've got the wires uh, trailing underneath if you like that's how that goes on push that on make sure it's nice and secure and then once that's in position we're ready for the cap to go back on get your cap locate it into the slot and then twist until it locks into position and that is it job done remove your rags and that's complete Okay, we have our light back. There we go. Nice and working. Nice and working. Thanks for watching.